Hi, I'm Michael Gavlin. And I'm Kate Perdoni. Welcome to Arts District from Rocky Mountain PBS. And welcome once again to my studio. I love being here. I love it too. Do you ever think of everyday furniture as being works of art? Woodworking students from around the world are drawn to the Anderson Ranch Arts Center in Snowmass Village. This creative space hosts a variety of classes where folks can explore their curiosity and push their skills. Arts District's Rom Shear brings us this story. Anderson Ranch Art Center has been sharing a passion for art since 1966. The center has been hosting artists and educating students in a variety of fields from painting to sculpting to 3D printing and even furniture making. Here at the ranch's workshop, students learn the fine art of creating unique pieces of furniture. Furniture design uh, is a very incredibly broad topic to, uh, to begin with. You know, on one end, there's high style design um, manufactured around the world, and then uh, another direction is more sort of uh, furniture as part of artistic expression. And that's is sort of the uh, area that we're working with here at the, uh, at the ranch. This class is an intermediate to an advanced class. The students are uh, coming in with a, you know, sort of a reasonable set of skills. This class is, uh, focuses on uh, getting them to look at furniture forms from uh, a more three-dimensional, a more sculptural perspective. We offer furniture at an art center because there's a, a different level of freedom here in doing uh, furniture design and woodworking. There's a creativity that is open to everything. Whatever it is that you want to accomplish, we will make that happen. One of these students is taking this opportunity to learn a new skill in order to further push her artistic expression in furniture making. Coming all the way from Canada, Emma Semp is building a chair in the workshop. I'm using this workshop to make a chair. I've built a couple chairs before, but I really wanted to jump back over that threshold in a supportive environment where I could take something on that was a little more ambitious and have my questions answered. The main benefit that I have um, gotten out of this workshop was to do some more steam bending. Michael Fortune specializes. He's very well known for curvature, for steam bending, and for chairs. And so that was my motivation for taking a course with him. So a lot of people in our class have been incorporating steam bending into their projects. And I think I've done four bends this week. So just getting to do that with him kind of like repeatedly has really helped drive home the concepts, the process, the techniques, and like the feel for it. So I can, I feel like a lot more confident taking that home and doing it on my own. So, how does furniture design fit into the arts? Furniture making fits into the arts uh, as a 3D medium. You know, when you start machining a board down, you start discovering uh, the wood grain, and then from there you, you kind of have this freedom to create and, and move parts around. I think that furniture fits into the arts in a really interesting way because it is often seen as a bit outside in like a functional arts or studio, like fine studio craft way. But it has, I think, like a lot of interesting content to offer. There's so much potential for doing really sculptural stuff or for kind of questioning like your personal space and how you interact with sculpture every day or what is function. And ultimately, I think that fine furniture is, you're creating these objects that have give so much opportunity for people to connect with in their daily lives, which is kind of, I mean, what the arts are about as well. Uh, the thing I would like the students to leave with is that um, when they're um, uh, going forward with projects in the, uh, in the future, that they not be concerned about uh, designing to what they know, but designing to what they would like to know. For me, the exciting part about this is a um, uh, pursuit. It's essentially open, open-ended. You can go in any direction, whatever you're interested in, um, uh, you can pursue that. The Anderson Ranch Art Center appears to be more like a creative lab. Yeah, they teach pretty much any art form you can imagine. Check them out.